Age is quite working by sort of is it worth it? Age is quite working by sort of is it worth it? So today's episode we got this cool deck here and pretty what this is is a air purifier cooling option from the Dyson brand. So this one they call the Dyson Purifier Cool because it gives you guys the air purifier option and the cooling option. If you guys seen my previous video, I should show you guys another one from this brand before. And that one was a uh, air purifier cooling option and a heater option. This one does not give you the heater option, but in terms of design, everything else is about the same. So you see, this is what the package looks like when you guys do get it. If you guys do turn on the side right here, they kind of explain to you guys in terms of how it does work for the air filter option or the air purifying option. And in the back right here, they mention how it does have the sense option and the report option to help you guys to report any gas or there's any dust, particles, or whatever in the air. It will let you guys know on the app. So for this part, I allow you guys to control it using the remote control or you can do the manual control on here or you can also use the app control on here, which is really cool. So they do tell you guys how the particle sensor, gas sensor, temperature and humidity sensor that will tell you guys the temperature and humidity as well. It looks like that's pretty much everything that's on here. So one right now is open up and show you guys what the inside looks like. All right, so let's do open up. Once you guys open up, the first thing inside right here, they do probably guys like the user manual. And right near that, we do have the actual product. I love how everything is well protected, you can see. But for the actual product itself, it's quite big when you guys do look at it. And over this side right here, you guys do have the cable and they do probably guys the remote. So for the remote, it's all nicely wrapped up. But if you guys do take it out, let's see what the remote looks like. So we'll just slide it out. Once you guys do take it out, this is what the remote looks like. So we do have the power button. We do have the information button to let you guys know like the filter life, the air quality, the PM level, etc. There's an auto option, sleep option, option for you guys to change the wind if you guys want to come from the front or the back, which I'll show you in a second. We do have the option for you guys for the Austin option here. And I believe this is for you guys to increase or lower the speed for the fan option. So that's everything on the remote. And last but not least right here, we got the product. So let's take it out. So I'll put this down on the ground. And we can see inside right here, they do probably got the filter inside. And see how it's all these wrapped up, so that way it's no brand new. But let's open it up and put it inside to show you guys what it looks like. So once you guys do take it out, inside right here, we do have the filter. So this is the outside, and then this is the inside. And they do probably got two of them, so that way you guys do have one on each side. So we do take this one out as well. Should be the same thing, all right? So same thing, HEPA filter in the outer layer here. And the inner layer, I believe, is the advanced carbon filter. So it will detect everything in here in terms of PM level, the VOC, and the NO2. And that's pretty much everything that's inside. So one right now is to close back up the box for now. We're actually limiting off the wrapper first to put it back inside. And we'll take out the wrapping in the bottom here as well. And now we can close back out the box for now. All right. So once you guys do take it out, this is what the product looks like. You can see how for the product when you guys do move around. Very easy for you guys to move around if you guys do need to. And then for this one, it doesn't have the option like the other one that I showed you guys before, where you can move it forward and backward to swing it. This one only goes left and right. But notice the length of the pilot is way bigger than the other one. And I'll cover the other one in a different video. I think the other one's like half of the size, probably somewhere around here. But everything else for the bottom part looks about the same. So one right now is to take off the tape on the side. That way you can put the filter inside. So let's take this out. Same thing for this side here. And what you guys want to do is push the button on both sides to release it so that I can take it out really easy. Just like that. And then this is what the inside looks like once you guys do take it out, you can see. So one right now is put in the filter, one on each side. So just put it in like this. And what you have to do is snap it in. Make sure it goes in on both sides. And do the same thing for this side here. Once you guys do that, you have to put this back on. And once you guys put it back on, you can plug in cable to start using it. So let's plug it in now. Once you guys plug it in, you can start using it. So what I'm doing right now is to bring the camera a little closer to show you guys what the screen looks like when you guys do turn it on. So right here is the screen, and here we do have the button for it to turn it on. If you guys do turn it on on the remote, it does turn on. And right now we do have it level 10. If you guys do bring it up, 10 is the max. And if you hear how quiet the product is when you guys do turn it on, and the wind that comes out is actually very quiet or very powerful at the same time. And notice how right here I show you guys AQ. If you guys do press on I, it changes to the different setting on here for you guys to see. Like the PM level, the PM10, VOC, NO2, and the temperature in your uh, room, which is 62 at the moment. 
and the humidity which is 59. And right here I show you guys like the filter level. So right now it's still fine. And then back to AQ. If you guys turn on auto mode, now it's on auto mode. So pretty much auto mode, it will turn up the speed automatically when you guys need it, especially if there's a lot of like smoke or dust in the air. Maybe if there's like a wildfire, if there's like smoke in your house, that is when it does kick in. And I will test that in a second. If you guys do press on button here, that allow you guys to increase and lower the speed on here. So 10 is the highest. And one is the lowest. You guys can hear how quiet the speed is on here when you guys do turn on level one. If you guys turn on night mode, there's one hour, there's off, there's on. So you have to keep pressing it when you guys press it. You guys can't just press it and stop, otherwise it won't work. So there's one hour, two hours, four hours, and eight hours. It seems like eight hours are maxed on here using the remote control. If you guys do press on this button here, which I explained to you guys that will change the flow of the wind. Right now it's coming out from the front when you guys do it right here. But once you guys do change it, it'll come through from the side right here and it blows out this way. So for example, if I do stand right here and turn it on, actually let me show you guys what the screen looks like. So if I do change it, it show you guys how the wind changed from the front to the back. And now when you guys do feel it from the back right here, the wind does come out from the back. When you guys do feel it from the side here, you definitely feel the wind coming from right here. If you guys do change it back to the front, press the same button and change this from the back to the front. So very cool in terms of what you guys do again. I kind of wish how they had the option for you guys to blow the air in both directions. That would be cool. Maybe in the future they might have the option. And then for the very last thing right here is the awesome option. So let's do press on this button. You do have the option to change the different angle if you guys want to not move. If you guys want 90 degrees, if you guys want 45 or 180 or 350, those are different options available, which is 45, 90, 180, and 350. So let's try 350 and see what it looks like when you guys do that. So we got 350 on. If you guys do look at the product, you can see how it does turn. So they turn around in a 350 angle or degrees, which is almost like a full circle, just missing 10 degrees. So that's how far it goes that way. If you guys wait for it to go the other way. It slowly turns all the way around, you can see. So almost there. All right, so it stops there. So that is 350 degrees turn when you guys do the Aussie option. And obviously you always have the option to just stop it and just turn it if you guys do want to do it manually. If you guys don't want to wait for it to come, which is pretty awesome. So that's pretty much everything that's on the actual remote and how to use it on here. I believe on this part, I allow you guys to connect it on the app. Let me try to connect an app and show you guys when it actually works. All right, so right here, I do have the app. So I already have my other device connected on here, but if you guys want to add another one, just press right here. And you guys want to look for the device that I do have. So click on add machine and I found the device. So they tell you guys to hold the device near the device and now press the power button. And I found it. So now it's pairing the machine onto your phone or the app. So it might take a few minutes for it to recognize the device on here and probably ask you guys connect to the Wi-Fi. All right, so I just entered the password for the Wi-Fi and now it's connecting. So it'll probably take a few minutes to connect. To show you guys right here on the device as well. So halfway there, all right, so we're completed. We ask you guys where's your uh, machine? What did you use the living room for now? Select the date you guys purchased it for the warranty, all right. So here we do have the device all set up. So feel free to change the location on here if you guys want to. But that show you guys the degree, the humidity, VOC, good air quality. And it show you guys everything else on here in terms of the power button, the auto option. You guys want to turn it on, turns on, turn off, turn off. If I don't turn the Austin option, press right here. Increase the speed option on here. 
very easy to do so. And if I press right here, it allows you guys to use the same button that's on the remote. So there's timer option, option option, auto option, etc. So for timer option, you can set all the way to nine hours on here. So one more hour than what you guys get on the actual device for the remote. And the option option on here allow you guys to change it for 45, 90, 180, and 315. There's auto mode, there's night mode, and there's an airflow direction if you guys want to change it. So feel free to change the different setting on here if you guys do want to. Very easy and very simple. And then if you guys do scroll up, you do have the option to check like the air quality, the PM level, VOC, NO2, temperature, humidity, and etc. All of that on here to track by days and etc. So that's pretty much everything that's on the app here. What I'm going to do right now is to get a candle and create some smoke on here and show you guys how it does work when you guys do use the actual air purifier option to see whether the detector option on here works or not. All right. So currently we do have a set on auto and right here I do have my candle. So what I'm going to do right now is create some smoke on here and see how it does work when you guys use it. So there's some smoke there you can see. And notice how right here it kicks up immediately once you guys do create some smoke. So I'm showing you guys 17 on there, but it kicks in immediately to bring it back down. So for the product, it definitely does work so far you can see. If you guys do create some more smoke on here, the number will go up again. So right now showing hazard, which is red. And the chart on here show you guys as well. So if you guys go over here, it also show you guys the quality of the air and everything. So we guys make some more smoke. You can see how the number on here jump up so high. So it's showing you guys the air quality on here is really bad. And now it's going back down again. So for the product, when you guys use it, it definitely does work and it does kick in the fan speed option on here to higher speed level when the air quality on here is banned. I feel like the sensor on here is actually very strong to the point that it really does help you guys detect the smoke or the air quality on here. If it's bad, it will detect it on here really well. Like right now, I'll show you guys severe, but on here, I'll show you guys a 10. So there might be a delay on the app when you guys do use that, but that thing does work to help you guys suck up all the smoke in the air to give you guys clean air quality when you have to use that. You might have to refresh the app. Let me try to refresh it. All right, so I refreshed it and right now connecting. I'm not sure if it's in here or not, but the actual product is bringing back down the fan speed on here because the number on here went down a little bit and now showing you guys good. So once in a while on the product, it might have delays on here, so keep that in mind. But see how when you guys use the product, it definitely does work for the auto option on here and the sensor option to let you guys know the air quality. All right. So now that we show you guys how the product works in terms of the main control option on here, if you guys do press the power button on top and using the remote control option and also the app control, you can see everything on here definitely does work and very cool how it does have the air purify option on here to help you guys absorb any of the smoke that's in the air and the dust, the pollen, and any other like viruses or chemical, which is pretty cool. If you can see how when you guys do test out the smoke option on here, it really does suck up all the smoke immediately inside. That way you don't have to worry about any like unwanted smoke in the air. And the audible on here is really cool how it kicks in the speed immediately once it detects like the smoke. And really cool how I actually give you guys everything else on here in terms of the long length of the product to give you guys more coverage when you guys do the cooling option. And also really cool how it give you guys the option in the front and the back for the wind to come out as well. But that's pretty much everything that's on the product. Now that we show you guys what the product looks like and how it does work, now to answer the question of whether or not it's worth or not. So for this product, I do have to say that it's pretty worth it if you guys want to need one of these, especially if you guys are in the market looking for a high quality air purifier fan that give you guys a similar design as what you guys get right here in terms of the long length, the cooling option, air purifier option, Austin option and smart control and so much more, then I do have to say that it's pretty worth it. <laughs> but then obviously for those of you guys who don't want or don't need one or have you want these, that obviously don't buy one and save your money for something else actually do need. So that's basically everything for this video itself. If you guys like this video, make sure to smash that like button in the bottom. That would definitely help this video out. And it will definitely help with the algorithm as well to promote more videos for you guys so you guys can see more of the videos or similar videos as well. But as always, make sure to stay positive be you and i'll see you guys in the next episode of is it worth it peace